everyone, it's Kelly from Wedding and Party Network. Today is day three of our Crafty Christmas and today we're going to show you how to decoupage this Christmas plate. And not only can you use this for your dinner party, they also make good Christmas gifts or even just around your home. And what you'll need is the wrapping paper squares and then I'll see right here which you would need to put place on the plate first so you can see it and then layer the squares around it just like this to cover all the glass surface and then the finished product will look like this so you can see the Christmas tree in this case you'll be able to see the sea. So I've cut out the C and now all I'm going to do is place it on the back and center it to figure out where I kind of want the, where I want the C at on the plate. And then what they first do is take some Mod Podge, apply it to the back of the plate, make sure the whole surface is covered where you want it to lay. And then what I'm going to do is lay the C on there and then just seal it some more with the Mod Podge. Cover the entire C to make sure it's in place. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is take my wrapping paper squares and start laying those on top. And then just cover the back of it to make sure it's good. Okay, and since I'm getting towards the edge, what I do is I actually leave some leave some of the paper hanging off of it just so I can go back and make sure all the glass is covered. And then once it's finished, I can go back and cut the edges off and it'll be, it'll fit the plate perfectly. Once you've done, um, once you've applied all the wrapping paper to the back of your plate, you need to let it dry till it's completely dry, and then your finished product will kind of look like this, but you won't be able to see the white or anything once it's dry, you won't even notice it. Okay, and on your plate, once it is, it's pretty much dry on the back, you can handle it and it's all the glue is dry, and what I'm going to do is now on the edges that I've left hanging, all I'm going to do is go around the plate and cut off the excess paper. Here is your finished product, and this is what you'll get, which will make a great place setting, great plates for your dinner party, or they would make great gifts also.